In this tutorial, we're going to walk you through how to create a multi-pane dashboard for ConnectSmart. Uh, we're going to be using a mix of both ConnectSmart hosted gadgets as well as uh, ConnectSmart on-premise gadgets, both for ConnectWise. Uh, if you have a gold membership, you'll be able to access the hosted gadgets as well. But let's begin. We're going to start with the Creator Open and the ConnectSmart for hosted ConnectWise category selected and we're going to go to the service category and select tickets by created date. So double click that to add it and I'm just going to set the appearance how I like it to begin before I touch any of the back-end data. So to begin I'm just going to select the, the background to be transparent. I'm going to set the border to be a 16. I'm going to turn off the glare. I'm going to uh, adjust the color of this maybe to a light blue and I'm gonna bring the size down to say a 0.6 and I'm gonna add a couple titles and you click on that and you hit add I'm gonna set our text as uh, CSM help desk and I'm gonna put that at the top and hit OK I'm also gonna add another title to the bottom telling me how many tickets I have open yesterday so in the text I'm gonna say opened yesterday and the layout I'm going to be on the bottom and there we go so that's how I like it to look visually in this example and now we're going to tackle the backend data so we want to look at all Connect Smart help desk tickets that were opened yesterday so you can do a control P or go up and hit edit parameters and then I want to set a board name in this case I want single quote Connect Smart help desk single quote. It's the only board I'm looking at and then as far as how back how far back I want to look I'm gonna set the date to be yesterday the 24th and I want it to look back one day and is to date I'm gonna turn to off to false so it's not adding the days from the 24th and the 25th it's just looking at minus one day on the 24th so I'm gonna finish with that and there we have a, a new value so that's yesterday's tickets that were opened on that particular help desk board. Now we're going to add a second gadget to uh, look at the tickets that were open today on that same board. So we'll go ahead and double click tickets by created date again and you'll see a window pops up saying you got the option to share some parameters. So first it wants a name uh, before you do anything so I'm going to say tickets today and I'm going to hit OK. So now, by default, it thinks you're going to create completely separate parameters, independent parameters for the gadget we just added. Um, we can link them, so I think I'm actually going to do that. I'm going to link everything because I want it to look at the same board. The only thing I don't want linked is the date field and the very end. I'm going to leave date entered undone. So you see everything else is shared with that original gadget with the exception of the date entered. So that's our calendar. So I'm going to hit close to that. Okay, so in this one I can click it and drag it up to the right and then again I'm gonna set my visualization set the appearance in this case I can do um, how about Dodger blue make it a little different uh, the border again I'm gonna put it to 16 I'm also gonna turn the glare off the size would do 0.6 and um, I'm gonna add titles as well so in this one top title is going to be the same CSM help desk the layout is going to be at the top and then I'm going to add another title as well calling this tickets today opened today and the layout at the bottom of that gauge 
So that's how I want it to look visually. And now we'll tackle the parameters and the data in the back end to um, adjust that to where it's bringing in the proper data. So now we're going to scroll all the way down to where we start to see the, the parameters that have um, the copy, um, the parameters that were copied. And in this case, we've got tickets today and 925. So that's the, the date that we want to look at. And also, we want to make sure that the board name, ConnectSmart Help Desk, is, is being applied. Okay, so I hit uh, Control R to run that, and you see it queried, and it sees yesterday I had four tickets opened on that board, and today I have eight opened on that same board. So, let's okay, and then I'm actually going to add one more gadget to this. Uh, we're going to pull it from the the on-premise ConnectWise gadgets, and if you go to the Team Productivity category, and let's click Hours by Tech. We'll double click it and it wants a unique name, so we'll just call it ours so we know which one we're looking at. And in this case, let's uh, let's make let's actually let's create each as independent. So anything that has ours in the back end is going to apply to this gadget. Okay, so once again, we can um, modify the visualization aspect of it. We'll make it 3D. We'll add a, a palette of high contrast. Since we're putting it on a wall board, uh, we'll do a background of black. And what else can we do? Uh, let's see here. We can change that color. Go to series, hours. And instead of uh, solid, we can make this gradient. And let's, um, let's do a light blue and a say a dodger blue up here just so it matches what we have existing the upstairs and that looks good to me we can um, then go into the parameters and make our final changes there so down here at the bottom we should have our copies for uh, hours. Okay, so the location, that's fine. Um, I'm going to look at the hours for today, so it's actually already set, and um, that looks good. I think the actual team, I want to make the team, um, uh, let's do a config key, team engineering. So we're just looking at our engineers. Okay, I'm going to change this actually. Looks a little better. And then we can uh, we can save this out and close it and go to our desktop and double click that. And there you have a multi-pane dashboard. Moves as a unit, we can make it floating. So there you have a multi-pane dashboard with uh, shared parameters as well as independent parameters.